Hey guys, this is E10 Sun from Sunbros. Today I'm really excited to be bringing you guys this brand new video. But before we get started with that, I want to make sure I remind you guys on how to get entered in for a chance to win our guaranteed skin giveaways that we do every Sunday night during our one hour question and answer live stream. All you got to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and comment below with your in game name and which skin you'd like to receive on either the NA or EU servers under 700 vouchers. And remember, the more videos that you do this with that are uploaded each week, the higher chance you have to win. All right, guys, and it's time for our Marja Hero Quick Look video. I hope you guys are excited about this one. I know that I am. Anytime we get a new hero in Arena Valor, it is an awesome time. So I'm really excited to get started with this one, guys. And as you guys can see, Marja is a class mage tank. Roll lifesteal. As you guys can see in the bottom left corner, pretty much even keel down the middle across the board, give or take a little bit, but nothing crazy either way. Marja's passive is Shadow Leech. After Marja takes damage, she restores her HP and reduces any movement speed by 20% for two seconds seconds with each normal attack and ability hit. Marja's first ability is Dark Pulse. Marja unleashes a shockwave dealing magic damage to enemies hit and reducing their movement speed by 40% for 2 seconds. Second ability is Soul Devour. Marja summons a Soul Devourer to attack the enemy dealing magic damage. And last, Marja's ultimate is Ghost Walk. Marja turns into a phantom increasing her movement speed by 30% and becoming immune to all damage for 2 seconds. She deals magic damage to nearby enemies when she enters and exits Ghost Walk. Alright guys, now it's time to talk about Marja's pros and cons, and we're going to be starting with her pros, which are her strengths, things you're going to want to focus on if you're playing as her, and things you're going to want to avoid if you're playing against her. Marja's first pro is that she has a natural lifesteal. The natural lifesteal she has from her passive shadow leech isn't really named in here, but I can tell you it's fairly substantial, enough to make a big time difference on Marja and be a major part of her kit. As you guys can see, that is why her role is lifesteal, because she has a pretty good amount of it. Marja's second pro is that she has no mana, and this is a big time advantage for somebody like Marja who will be playing a lot in the mid lane going up against other mages. It will require her to back less often. It'll give her freedom to focus on different sorts of items that don't replenish mana. Uh, it's, a, it's a big time advantage and pro for Marja that is going to allow her to do a lot of different things that other mages will not be able to do. And last but not least, Marja's third pro is of course her incredible ultimate ghost walk where she becomes completely untargetable, which means she cannot take damage. She cannot be crowd controlled. Nothing can happen to her for two whole seconds. But she can continue to move around and shoot off her abilities and shoot up auto attacks and do everything that she wants to do She just can't be attacked for two whole seconds not to mention She also gets a 30% movement speed all in all Marja's ultimate does a lot of things for her Including a, giving her the ability to continue to do damage move around and do all this stuff while she's completely untargetable It's a very very strong ultimate in this game and obviously a clear and undeniable pro for Marja Now we're gonna be moving on to the cons for Marja, which are her weaknesses things you're going to want to avoid if you're playing as her and things you're going to want to exploit or take advantage of if you're playing against her. All right, guys, and Marja's first con is that she has no hard crowd control. Marja's passive, when she takes damage and she hits somebody with an ability or a normal attack, then she gets health back and they take 20% movement speed debuff. That is one slow of 20%. Her first ability gives a slow of 40% and that is, of course, her only slows that Marja takes. Having such a lack of hard crowd control is a big thing for a mage and what it forces Marja to do is more than likely take an item like Frosty's Revenge to be able to get adequate slows on people to keep them in range to kill them. So it does limit how Marja can be built properly to be able to do what she needs to do. And that doesn't mean that she has to build Frosty's Revenge, but if she really wants to be a mage that can offer any sort of control for her team, that'll be an item that is very necessary for her. Marja's second con is that she lacks burst damage. She's not going to be a Tulin Loyal Flash style burst damage mage that can go in and and really put the hurting on very quickly or even someone like Natalia or Daya Chan who has a combination of abilities that they can put together to really melt someone or burst them down. Marja is more of a long-term sustained damage mage who can keep herself alive. Now that's not to say that Marja can not do a lot of damage because she indeed can but it has to be done in a different way with a different play style than the mages that I mentioned earlier. All right and the last con for Marja is the lack of elite range especially amongst mages. Now, Marja's first ability is a decently long range poke, but when you compare it to the long range pokes of other heroes like Preda and those sorts of people, it's actually fairly short. I believe it's not quite nearly as long as most mages with long range pokes. Her second ability, Soul Devourer, has a very short range, uh, even though it does a pretty good amount of damage to AoE, to all the targets in that range, the range in itself is not that big. And then of course her ultimate is, doesn't have any range at all. It's something she gets that helps her move and be untargetable and all that kind of stuff. So her actual lack of 
damage overall for a mage is pretty apparent to me and it's it's to me it's not an issue necessarily but it's definitely a con it's something that she lacks that a lot of other mages have all right guys that is it for this one i hope you guys enjoyed the marja hero quick look video stay tuned for tomorrow when we come out with the marja how to build video i promise you it is going to be a good one guys thanks for watching and as always till next time